Well, first off, the Australians, you know, artists or not, are people who generally sort of travel. They always uh, get out and see the world sometimes for two and three and four time, uh, four years at a time. So that's a basic part of the culture. Um, the other thing is that Australia only has 22 million people, so um, and a lot of artists and a lot of arts organizations. So it's considered uh, part of your road to success to get out and uh, be recognized in the world, uh, and also to interact with the world, to get new ideas, to innovate. So as globalization has become more and more um, sort of pervasive, Australians have already been there and participated. Um, and I think, you know, it's often talked about how oh, there's Australians in every corner of the world, and it's really true, and it's true with the artists as well. Um, well, more and more, ironically enough, um, artists who are amongst the first to be concerned about global warming are getting quite concerned about the um, carbon footprint. And, you know, touring costs money, touring... Um, does have a rather sizable carbon footprint. So a couple organizations in Australia have actually um, quantified their carbon footprint. And that's actually a really great first step because you start to realize that in order to make up, you know, or to, to make it be a neuter footprint or a neutral footprint, um, you have to charge this much per ticket. And you start to have a conversation about the elasticity of your ticket or whether or not that's, that's actually got some cred that would make your ticket be more attractive because you are taking it into account. So I consider it a really important first step that we're talking about it. And not many are, but they will lead the ones that need to. Necessity is the mother of invention, so artists are among, in Australia are amongst the first to have sort of virtual collaborations. And the Australia Council for the Arts is really involved in setting up some of these virtual collaborations, like we... Um, probably one of the first council ever to give uh, $30,000 uh, um, residency grants for residencies in Second Life, mm. where we developed a project called Babel Swarm, which artists work together um, in Second Life to develop a piece of art. But they also collaborate, for example, there was another dance project that uh, from Australia online digitally, we collaborated with a dance company in America. I think it was in the uh, Phoenix area, uh, to choreograph and develop dance together. It was quite an amazing project. And uh, that's that's really encouraging to know that you can get together and talk about artistic ideas and come up with something very new and unique and innovative.